this is the monthly horoscope for Capricorn for the month of May 2023. Hello, my Cappies. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie, by liking, subscribing, and sharing. And thank you for everyone who has. I really appreciate the love energy. So this is your monthly horoscopes. And to Friday, I should have like all the weekly horoscopes up. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. So Pluto goes retrograde on the 1st, where in July 17th, it'll go back into Capricorn. So this is in your second house of money. So you can be working on yourself with this energy. Um, you have greater, stronger willpower, a lot of clarity here. Not the easiest time for you with business or with career. Business can start slowing down. What was once important to you may no longer hold as much sway if it has to serve you or you could be getting over people at this time you will reflect on what you value most at this time especially as it pertains to your inner resources your finances and your morals you need to watch your emotional self at this time your mate or business partner may be holding you back from information um, from you or maybe keeping secrets from you at this time potentially a time of mental power struggles in marriages you can feel things intensely with others also this is a time of clarity you can be seeing a lot of changes happening with your career stay out of the drama you're super sensitive at this time you can be easily offended by what other people say you're extremely sensitive you cannot take constructive criticism if your life depended on it on May 5th at 1 34 p.m. the lunar eclipse in Scorpio friends and acquaintances may oppose upon you for support more often a friend may be um, going through a difficult personal crisis friendships may be tested or your relationships with groups or organizations can change you're looking for validation from friends and group activities a major event can involve a child or a romantic partner an accumulation of creative projects can occur at this time you can be more about your social life you can be joining a group or organization or a religious sect even though you feel lonely at this time you can be making a point to be around people who are like-minded you cannot depend much on your associates to help you now and what you receive may not be exactly what you ask for others may be prone to give you advice but you may have a hard time following it you may become more involved in charitable or group organizations others seek to help you during this time period this can be other people in your life going above and beyond for you and showing you loyalty or making you feel special then on the seventh venus in cancer at 10 24 a.m um in your seventh house of relationships it's the heart versus the head you may not be so quick to do favors for others jump into new relationships you can be sitting on your hands about it you can be talking to someone at this time for some of you you're not trying to obligate yourself to other people or do favors for certain family members you tend to rationalize more often with this energy and you don't allow your emotional self to get the best of you at this time you're not so quick to make new friends so you can be talking and slowly getting to know someone you can be reconnecting with people from your past and idealizing certain in relationships um you are getting your sorry from someone that you had a nasty falling out with i mean really nasty and you're treating it as nothing happened you're built you you know everything is water under the bridge to you because you got your sorry you can also be somewhat gullible at this time but at the same time you're not believing what you're hearing so you go with your you you need to trust your instincts so if it doesn't feel right you know trust yourself then on the 24th i'm not on 24th maybe the 24th may 14th 11 17 p.m mercury goes direct this is a time you can't take a joke with this energy whatever whatever bantering and fun energy is going on at this time you're very serious minded you're very sensitive and you take things too seriously you should be you could be in a situation here where somebody sends you a meme or something and you're still like you're still a little bit soft because you've been through things at this time and a bit sore and you're not recovered from certain um, incidences or challenges that you went through and you're very triggered at this time and so you can get very reactive with this energy so this is Pluto and retrograde showing you areas of your life that you need to process or start acknowledging your reactive self here a bit and take things like water off a duck's back. Love relationships can also be a bit fragile at this time. This energy here, you may not be on speaking terms with your partner or you could be fighting with your partner at this time. So try to be about bigger picture when it comes to love relationships. Also, this could be a breakup happening as well or you may not be on speaking terms with certain family members. You could be fighting with others. You may not find it difficult 
to express yourself or get sidetracked by details and miss the overall message in your delivery. You may have to be careful how you express yourself now. Others are prone to misunderstand you. Then on the 16th at 1.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Jupiter is in Taurus, and this is going to be in your fifth house of love, children, entertainment, and the talking in the background is my son. This could be, um, for some of you, you can get pregnant at this time. For some of you here, there's a possibility of pregnancy or you're very generous, playful, and warm towards your children or other people's children. A great time for teachers. And this could be new love coming in. This is somebody that you knew for past life or even an ex. There will be, uh, you will be more creative at this time. And you can be more about your play during this time period or even traveling a little bit more than usual. I feel also this is a great time for teachers. Showing patience and love for the learning process. Love relationships come in and this you this could be somebody um, that you that have this you have the same interests. You can meet somebody in a church, um, in a religious sect, or you could be meeting somebody in a group situation as well. Or you two can have a lot in common. For others of you, you two have similar interests that bonds you two together. This could be a good time as Jupiter enters your fifth house too. Yes. Play Lotto, and I wrote win $500 ticket. Yes, bitches, okay? Win that big money, okay? I feel also this could be a great time for imparting wisdom and knowledge onto your children and teaching them something. On the 19th at 11.53 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the new moon in Taurus in your fifth house, a great time to play Lotto, win $5 ticket. Um, this is gonna really spark your creative juices. This is new love, a great time to mingle if you're single. I feel you can be, um, and you can be going to social events during this time period celebrating other people's birthdays you're playful and you just love to have fun and do fun endeavors you will be especially aware of your need for approval and feedback from others so be careful with that you derive pleasure from ways your own creativity impacts the world around you this can be a passionate time for you and a time when you meet when you might feel more bold than usual if you're feeling good about yourself especially if you take an advantage of the time for rebuilding your confidence with the new moon in the fourth house you will fairly radiate during this time period. Then on the 20th, ego reigns supreme in the 8th house, taking on the overtones of Scorpio at 1131 a.m. Eastern Ch Standard Time, Mars enters the 8th house in the sign of Leo. Not the best time to deal with investments or delve into the stock market. For others of you, you can be fighting with your partner. Not You're not on speaking terms with your partner or certain friends who are like family to you. Banks and financial partners may feel that you're taking too much too many risk at this time not a good time to ask for a loan you can have problems with the bank in general with this energy so be careful with your money um this could be you taking more initiative you are going after what you want you are more focused on getting ahead at work or with your career and the drama going on there love relationships can suffer at this time because you're more about securing the bag um those of you in your 20s or teens play your cards right with love because love can also be very difficult at this time so so pick and choose your battles with your partner because you can be a little bit needy for your partner. Um, for others of you, you're not so keen on taking initiative and you tend to go more with the flow. Stay on the right side of the law. Don't allow other people to get the best of you. You can be carrying the weight of your relationships because your partner can have a financial collapse at this time or you can be accident prone with this energy. So don't push yourself. Don't take risk with the car and be careful while driving. Then on the 21st, the sun um, goes into Gemini. This is in your sixth house of daily routine and pets at 3.09 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You may focus on your health and set new plans to improve it. A decision made may be made to at work an important deadline may close it's a good time for learning and traveling and making an impression on communicating with your superiors it is a good time for reaching agreements and signing contracts you are likely to be favored by your superiors general conditions in the workplace improve or an obstacle there has been removed making it easier to get ahead relationships with men and authority figures should be improved at this time if you search yourself you will find that your perspective is broadening there is often an increased openness to ideas and cultural lifestyles that don't normally encounter. This is a very successful time for you, investments and financial dealings. You have a lot more influence over others at this time or others come to you for guidance or your expertise help. You can be solving difficult problems at work and impressing the right people at this time. Okay. 
So the first card to come up with is the Eight of Coins. For some of you, this could be dealing with obsessive thinking because you have that opposition between your first and seventh house with Venus and Mars there for a little bit in your seventh house in the sign of Cancer. Let's not forget about that. Um, you can be focusing on work. You're a perfectionist. I feel like you can be throwing yourself into school or into a, an exciting um, career endeavor at this time, or this could be really showing off your talents at work and what you can bring to the table. Your unique skills tend to stick out more at this time. This is a popular energy time for you. This is mastering your money situation, delving into certainty at this time with this energy, creating your own reality, getting a job. The Ten of Coins puts an emphasis on money, so this could be a good time for money coming in, or you could be coming up with money-making ideas. The Temperance card, I feel you can be enjoying the simpler things in life at this time. You can be more about your sanity. You can be more about your play with this energy here and kind of like relaxing more and being more focused on your children the hierophant card this is dealing with um a group with this energy or a social organization or this could be like dealing with your family during this time period and spending time with family with this energy and like i said joining a group or business for some of you, you can be working in the family business with this energy the five of coins lots of coin cards here so that means that certain things in the month of may can be a bit of a process this can be a little bit of restless energy here so watch your emotional self because there's a lot of things that you want to do at this time that you may not be able to do you could also be sitting on your hands about about things this could be you recovering from an illness at this time so the coin cards are here or you could be sitting on your hands at this time because you tend to be a lot more analytical in your way of thinking and a lot more cautious so you're not making things happen for yourself at this time the chariot card this is a victory this is a promotion or a raise coming up for you this is a much needed good news a reprieve can be happening for you during this time Time period the four of wands happy energy you tend to be about your traditions your values you tend to want to spend more time with family and friends with this energy here the king of coins I feel this is creating stability for yourself for others of you this is um, dealing with an earth sign in your life but this person is very analytical in their way of thinking and they're not so quick to make changes at this time and they may need a lot more convincing this could be a love a potential love relationship but at this time this person could be just flirting with the idea of you so don't push this person into decisions because you might chase this person away but know that there is love around you at this time it's just that this person is kind of like focused on other things in their life at this time you can be focusing on health and fitness at this time this is a great time for making good investments i feel for some of you here your social status in life can be changing as well or you could be making friends with people of influence and power in their own right with this energy the death card card brings about changes coming up for you the full card new beginnings happening coming up with money making ideas get rich quick schemes at this time with this energy this is new beginnings happening for you the seven of wands i feel certain things in your life can be a bit of a process at this time like i said because you got all this this can be a frustrating time for you but certain obstacles may no longer apply in your life so you can be having new experiences at this time with this energy here okay the um knight of wands new beginnings new people fortune is bubbling over during this time period the four of coins i feel you're more about securing the bag this can be the month of may of work and home work and home or you could be more focused on school with this energy or you could be having like a job to pay for school and you could be more focused on that for some of you this could be dealing with old family money that could be coming up at this time, okay? Um, on father's side of the family, all righty? So I see that happening here. You could be going to court over, over that at this time, or you could be in communications with father's side of the family over money situations at this time, or this is ex-husband. You could be in communication with their family over inheritance at this time with this energy here, or you could be going to court with them. The Queen of Cups, um, for some of you here, this is a time period of like a great time to mingle if you're single. You may not be single this month. 
okay? By the end of the year, I'm, I feel like a lot of you may be booed up with this energy. So this is a beautiful time for love. I feel like there could be like a lot of recognition and success when it comes to creative endeavors at this time. So all eyes on you. For some of you, you can be trying to create a better life for yourself. I mean, who isn't? You can be coming up with get rich um, quick schemes at this time and money making ideas with this energy. The three of coins I see on the job training happening for some of you with this energy this is also growth this is also a purging happening so certain things may no longer apply in your life during this time period as well again things are slow now so you're wanting to speed things up i don't feel like you will be able to because i feel like you have to take a lot of initiative and which is easier said than done when you have a lot of planets on the right side of your chart the seven of swords i feel you can be more focused on business you can be more quiet to yourself you can be more about your fantasy life at this time with this energy as well the Ace of Cups, I see love around the corner for you. For others of you, you can be quitting your job or leaving certain situations or relationships at this time. And you're going to see the sparks and miracles that come with that after you leave this situation, okay? I feel for some of you here, you want love at this time. You could be looking for friendships or trying to make new friends with this energy um, for some of you. For others of you, this could be creative blockages happening at this time as well. The Hangman card is indecisions are coming up something heavy on your mind the justice card for some of you this is dealing with court this could be you recommitting yourself with court at this time or this could be good news in regards to court. Um, for some of you, this could be getting reaching a settlement with somebody at this time or winning money in regards to court with this energy, okay? Or this could be money owed to you that's coming back to you. I do feel like this is new money. For some of you, this could be your change in status and wealth at this time. For some of you, this could be dealing with financial institutions at this time. The three of swords, I feel for some of you here, definitely a purging happening. So definitely certain things may no longer apply in your life with this energy. The Queen of Swords, there's a reconciliation. For some of you, this is obsessive thinking about a crush with this energy. The um, Two of Wands, I feel there is a time of moving. I feel like you're very original in your way of thinking during this time period. I love you, my cappies. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie, by liking, subscribing, and sharing. Kisses.